right, baby. So this is my third 4 a.m. workout of the week. I'm just conducting a little experiment. I figured I'd try it out. I like to be my own case study on certain things I'm curious about. So we're gonna give it a shot, but right now I need some Cali Splash. These Redcon One Energy drinks are super good. I'm a fan. Uh, but I do have some more proper pre-workout in the mail on the way, but for today, I mean, this is gonna do the trick. This is gonna be a good YouTube video. It's gonna be a good one. I can sense it in the air. Let's go get it, baby. <laughs> Oh, uh, windows down, windows down, we're in the highway. We really gotta wake up on the way to the gym, you know? Oh yeah, Kelly Splash, favorite flavor, definitely the Baja Blast had me twisted, but I can confirm at this stage, the Cali Splash is my favorite, baby. Prime parking, because the walk afterwards is not gonna be chill. Like leg day's done, got a full day ahead of me. It's gonna be a good one. But yeah, these morning lives have been solid. So I highly recommend you give it a shot and stick to it for a while, because it's likely not gonna be enjoyable right away. But man, it's just a great way to start the day and you can really bring the energy, so highly recommend. Man, every single time I wear this shirt, I forget that it glows. I mean, <laughs> It's always a nice little surprise, you know? And look what decided to show up. I may have spoken too soon about my favorite flavor, Icy Blue Lemonade. This one is currently a GNC exclusive, I believe. And the Holy Grail, Rainbow Sherbet, the Total War. And Total War has been my favorite pre-workout for a very long time, since at least 2018, maybe 2017. It's the only one I've really stuck with since day one. And this flavor, I'm excited. I'm excited to say the least. And right now, I think there's a bundle going on. Yes, so that Rainbow Sherbet bundle is going on. You get a frother and you get the Total War. Plus, I'm seeing, they're also doing a promo for a free Total War 15 servings at checkout. So like when you go to your cart, you'll see this pop up here and you can just add it to your cart. So this is sweet, pretty awesome. And while we're on the subject of supplements, <laughs> I almost potentially have my Natty card revoked. I mean, not like officially, but I was considering taking Ecti, Ecdisterone, similar to Turkestrone. So I ordered some Ecti 
I'm like super stoked. I'm like, okay, it's just some noticeable results, maybe similar to newbie gains, but come to find out that it's on the WADA watch list. And it has been for the past three years or so, I think since like 2020. So that basically means it's not banned. You're not revoking your natty card if you take this stuff, but you might be. Basically, my understanding is if you're taking this now and you wanna compete in the next seven years, you could be screwed. If Ecti ends up going on the banned substance list as an anabolic agent, that would mean for most federations, that you are prohibited from competing within them for the next seven years. So like when they sit you down for the polygraph lie detector test, which is what happens in IPE and OCB competitions, they're gonna ask you, have you taken anything on the banned substance list within the last seven years? And if you've taken Ecdistron, even you take it today, you compete four years from now, and they have put it on the banned substance list, then you cannot compete, you will fail the lie detector. So I just thought this was interesting. I thought I'd put a little PSA out there. You know, this, this supplement piqued my interest. I was excited about it. So it is disappointing. I'm sure some of you will benefit from this knowledge.